Take, take coffee, for example. The mug that holds the coffee, that is a staple. It is consistent. I have invested in it once, and as long as I take care of it, it will serve me well. In opposition, the, the opposite would be the coffee. I have to constantly go buy coffee. I'm constantly using it. And if I don't keep buying coffee, I won't get any coffee. Okay? I, like I have to, that's a replenishable. It, it diminishes, and I have to keep getting it. That is the difference, in a nutshell, of content marketing and social media marketing. Content marketing, content is tossed around a whole bunch, but content is like the mug. I've invested in this. If you invest in the content, we're looking at things that take a long time to get a return on investment. This could be a blog post. This could be a podcast. This could be YouTube videos. These are things that when you put them out into the universe, they sit there and wait to mature and become something more. Sure, you can go viral with a YouTube video and get a couple you know, million views in a weekend if you really wanted to, but that's not how it works for most people. What ends up happening is they make 100 videos, and they do terribly, and then the 101st video starts to gain some traction. So that's what happens with content. You put it out, it serves a purpose, it helps people, and it matures with time. Social media, on the other hand, like the coffee, if you don't keep pumping out social media content, eventually your Instagram page, your TikTok page, whatever it is, will die. It'll be, it will cease to exist. It will be dead, and no one will ever see it. Right. Uh, every time you make a post, and that's why people say post a lot, post a lot, post a lot. They don't mean post content a lot, although they say that word. What they mean is post social media a lot. And what I've noticed with the big, the big gurus is they'll put all their energy into making content, the blog posts, the YouTube videos, the big webinars and all that stuff, the content, they put a lot of energy in. And then they usually take those snippets and they make short form social media driving back to the content because the content is what is king. That's what they're trying to improve because that improves SEO if you're doing a blog post. That improves uh, retention and makes your YouTube channel bigger, which means you have a larger audience that is actively and really like locked in and engaged with you. Somebody who just likes your social media post, yeah, maybe they like you, but if they're watching hours upon hours of your YouTube videos, they definitely like you. They, like, they, they want to know more about your services and what you offer. And then from your YouTube channel, you would then uh, move them up your value ladder. Maybe you offer a free lead magnet and try to get their email and then from there. So those are the two areas that you can focus on. And this is the way I would do it. First, focus on content. Really good, good at it. Right? If you can grow content without social media, awesome. But it should not be your main focus. Your main focus is running the business, getting people into the door and making sales. So don't focus on social media. This was a mistake I made. I put all my eggs on social media figuring it would work, and it didn't. Then I switched to content. I said, let me focus more on content. My podcast started to do well. I started getting clients from the podcast. But that's not what I focused 100% of my time on, right? 10% of my time was on the podcast. I would make a podcast, a podcast episode, and then I would focus the rest of my day on the business and cold calling people and talking to my family and friends and trying to get referrals and those types of things. That became the majority of my business day, and that's what your majority of your business day should be. I just made a video on it. I'll link it somewhere or at the end of the, the video here. But when you're starting out, don't focus so much on the social media. It's not going to help you. Focus more on getting clients into the door first and then the content because what you do today will still be around 10 years from now and it'll probably grow with the rest of your content. As you get better in content and as you post more, like it's all going to grow together. Social media, I could post it today and I could post it in three hours and no one is going to see the first one and half are going to see the second one and then no one's going to see the third one. I've posted things on social media and my family never saw it. The people who love me, the people who follow me and actively comment and they like and they, they communicate with me through social media sometimes, they never saw it. Nothing. Like, 
I would have to post hundreds of times for people to see it. And in fact, I have done that. When I launched my first book, The Dog Training Cheat Codes, I posted so much, relentlessly. I think it was like three or four or five times a day I was posting. And people still didn't see it. Like they didn't get it. I did it for a whole month. And you could say, okay, it was only for a month. But that's my point. Exactly. Social media doesn't last. What I just said that my book, The Dog Training Cheat Codes, was available. Now this piece of content on YouTube is going to live forever. Every single person, you, when you see this video, now know about The Dog Training Cheat Codes. When I posted on social media and put a little tiny picture with a nice phrase that said, hey, you can get The Dog Training Cheat Codes here. Ten minutes later, nobody saw it. So it became a waste. Now I'm, I'm running on this treadmill trying to run and run and run instead of just eating the right food. Instead of investing in a nice mug, I got the paper cup. And tomorrow I got to get the paper cup. And that's not going to work, right? Coffee, yeah. Coffee, I, I got to keep getting coffee to make more coffee. But the cup, the mug, the, the I called it a chalice in my brain. The thermos I invest in because I know it's going to bring back what I need. It's going gonna, it's gonna to give me what I need in order to have the coffee that I want to have in the way that I want to have it. So that's my two cents. Content marketing, social media marketing, very, very different. Don't get them confused. Don't focus on social media just yet. Focus on content marketing first, but really first focus on the business and, and getting people into the door and working on your sales and your presentation and everything. And then content marketing becomes really easy. And then social media is just an extension of content marketing. If you like today's video, if you got value out of it, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.